Hello everyone, I'm Wang Yang from USDC. Today we will introduce David Gusin prayer for local image classification. Image classification is a long-standing problem in computer vision. In recent years, various types of classification networks have appeared, benefited to large scale data sets like ImageNet. Its networks achieve high classification accuracy. We will noticed that most of the images in ImageNet are clear images. However, due to the influence of some factors such as weather conditions, noise, and motion, the captured images in the real environment are usually low quality. Given a low quality image, the accuracy of its networks will drop greatly. The reason for this is that the structure and statistical properties of pixels in the neighborhood are obstructed by image degradation. We chose four similar patches A1 to A4 from different clear images and show the low level feature response using VGG. As shown in this image, the clear image patches have a uniform feature response. However, due to the influence of degradation, the feature response of low quality patches looks significantly different from that of high quality patches. At present, there are many two ways to solve, to solve this problem. One solution for this problem is to firstly improve the visibility by image enhancement methods and then to, for, to perform classification. However, this kind of method often has a low accuracy and poor robustness. Another feasible solution for this problem is to transform it into a domain adaption problem. While promising, most existing domain adaption approaches require either complex architectures or fine-tuning the target domain. In this paper, we propose a novel division prayer for local image classification, which mainly contains three aspects. Firstly, we find that there exist hundreds of structural similar patches in different images. In this picture, the high quality images are from COB and ImageNet respectively, which have different semantic labels. Second, its structural similar patches share a similar distribution in the feature embedding space, resulting in an indistinguishable cluster as shown in the TSNA map. In addition, the corresponding uh, in addition, the corresponding degraded image patches also have a similar property, while they are separated from the feature distribution of clear patches. Third, if we can learn a mapping between the degraded features and the clear features, it could be used for arbitrary natural images. In order to learn the mapping between low quality features and high quality features, we propose a feature drifting module, which is inspired by the non classical respective field of human vision, and shown in this image. The non-classical respective field mechanism is very useful to enhance the high frequencies while maintaining low frequencies, which can be formulated as equation 1 and equation 2. We can, we can mathematically prove that equation 1 can be reformulated as the form of equation 3. In this way, the convolutional results in the first and the second terms can be used as the input of second and third terms respectively. Based on this, we propose our feature drifting module as shown in Figure B. This is our framework. The training of our, the training of our feature drifting module doesn't need semantic labels for supervision. After the training, we insert our module into a pre-trained classification network for testing. We test our method on fog, low contrast, and overexposure conditions. We can see that our method significantly outperforms the two-stage methods. Next, we use different proportions of data to train our module. As can be seen, the performance of our feature drifting module is not sensitive to the data volume. The accuracy only drops by 5% when using only 1% of training data compared with using all of the training data. Even using only 10 images for training, our method can still improve the accuracy of VGG from 37% to 55%. Then, we visualize the feature maps of real fog images generated by different methods. Combined with two-stage two methods, our method can always reveal the structure of objects, even in the heaviest fog condition. Oh, in this paper, we propose a novel deep education prayer for local image classification. The proposed feature drifting module can be served in a form of plug-in module and without needing semantic labels for training. Finally, the experiment results on fog, low contrast, and the overexposure conditions demonstrate the superior efficiency of our method. Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening.